Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 42 of our 100 day SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve two recent asked SQL question that was asked in EY Data Analyst interview. So let's go ahead and see the problem statement then we will see how to solve these two questions. Here is the question number one. It says given a table name candidates with the following structure. One is called, first column is called name, the second column is called skills. So in skills we have a text type data separating by comma, you can see it here. And this is the name column, this is the skills column. So the question says, write a query to find candidates best suited for an open data science job. A candidate is suitable if they process all three required skills, Python, Tableau and Postgres SQL. So we need to find out all those candidates who has basically their skills, which is called Python, Tableau and Postgres SQL. So this is the first question. Let's now quickly have a look on the question number two that we're going to solve today. So the question number two that was also asked in EY data analyst interview. So this is the question number two. It says that you are given two tables. One is called transactions. One is called customers table. In the transactions table, we have ID, customers ID, date and the amount. So transactions ID, customers ID, date and amount. And in the customers table, we have customers ID and the customers name. Your task is to find the average transactions amount for each customers who made more than five transactions in the September month. So in the September month, if any customer has done more than five transactions for that customers, we need to find out the average transactions. Okay. So this is the task two and we are going to solve both the tasks. So this is the task one. This is the task two. Now let me introduce you to my SQL mentor bot, which is going to be basically accepting my answers. So I'm going to get the questions from SQL mentor bot. So if you have not joined my discord community, you can join my discord community. You will be getting the link from the video descriptions. You will be also getting the questions from my discord community. So you'll just have to go to discord community. And uh, this is the community, which is called zero analyst community. So you would just need to go to discord community and you can type your question here. If in case you want to solve these two questions, which you have just discussed, right? This is the question number two. This is the question number one. So you will just need to write in the discord community. First, once you join the discord community, you just need to write simple call question and you would write 400. So as soon as you write question 400, you will be getting the question number one. And once you get the question number one, you have 15 minutes to solve this problem. So let's quickly go ahead and solve this first question, which is going to be the first question that we have just discussed and we will have 15 minutes to solve the problem and submit our solutions. If the answer is correct, it is going to tell us that this answer is correct. You can again go through the remaining questions as well. So I have added so many questions here, which you can solve. And if we answer this correctly, we will be getting 80 points. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's solve this. So what you just need to do is that copy these data sets and uh, you can go to any of the tools that you want to use. Maybe I'm using Postgres SQL. You can use any tools that you want. So you can just run this query. It's going to create the table. So it has created the table. We can just check, select everything from candidates. You can see it has created the table, right? Now we can solve this problem. So the task is that we need to get those employee who has all these skills, three skills, which is called Python, Tableau and Postgres SQL. If you see the questions again, it says, Write a SQL query to find the candidate best suited for an open data science job. The candidate is suitable if they process all three required skills, Python, Tableau and Postgres SQL. Okay. So that means we first need to check if the candidate has all three skills, right? If they have all three skills, then we would need to basically select those candidate. I would just select name. Okay. Because I just need to return the candidate name who has all three skills. Now let's see how we can solve this question. We will have uh, only 10 minutes. So if you see in bot, it has given us 10 minutes, 15 minutes time to solve this problem. But this is a very, very simple and easy, uh, you know, problem. So we can just solve in just few minutes. Okay. So I would just go ahead and go back to my PG admin four. And here I'm going to write my approach. So I want to select only the name of the employee. So I'm just going to say what I'm looking for is name. And I would say from which table which is called candidates and I would say use where conditions and I would say skills in this skills what I'm looking for. Okay, so I am looking for Python first. Okay, so because I would need the employee that has all three skills, which is called Python, SQL and Postgres SQL. So let's check for Python using I like because I'm looking for a pattern which is called Python. It could have the initial or it could be at the end. Okay, so I can use this Python I like that's going to give me the candidate name who has a Python. Okay. This is the first conditions. Now I'm just going to add my second conditions using end logic. And I would say instead of Python, this time I'm looking for Tableau. Okay. So this is going to return the candidate who has a Python as well as well Tableau. So I would just go ahead and say Tableau because this where condition is going to apply line by line for each candidate. So for each row, it is going to check 
select the name only if that row fulfill this conditions which is called python and then again in the same column i am checking if that candidate also has a tableau so if that is true then it is going to return those candidate which has python and tableau and uh, we are just going to say one more and and we will now use postgres sql okay so here i'm just going to say postgres sql so this is one of the approach to solve this problem so let's go ahead and see how many names we have with all these three skills okay you can just verify it if you want to verify it you can just add something called skills and you will see that all this employee have all these three skills you can see python tableau postgres sql python tableau postgres sql python tableau postgres sql okay now i would just remove this skills because we only need the name of the candidates okay so let's run it let's go back to board and let's go ahead and submit our solutions let's see what happens okay so if you submit incorrect results in that case you will be getting negative marking which is going to be minus 10 point from your current score so if in case you want to submit it you would just need to use a submit command which is going to be exclamatory sign then submit and your sql query which is my sql query for me so i would just go ahead and say enter and uh, so you can see my question got accepted and i got 90 points so this is how you can practice if in case you want to get new questions you can simply type sql or you can just type help to kind of see all this different different commands that you have okay so you can use sql you can use easy you can use medium you can use hard using different different difficulty levels you can get equations you can use a company name to see all the available companies so you can say company it is going to give you all the different companies list we have so you can see all this different company we have at the moment let's say we want to try with zomato so you can just write company company zomato so it's going to give you a question that is from that specific company okay now coming back to question number two let's see how we can solve question number two so this is the question number two which we discuss about the transactions and the customers so we need to get the average transactions amount for each customer who has done more than five transactions in the september month okay so if in case you want to get this question so let's see what is the question number for this let me just go here and uh, so the question number is 372 so we can go to board and we can say you can also send personal message uh, to this bot that is a good option so you can just click on this and uh, just say send a personal message so i can just go ahead and say help so it's going to give me all the different different commands now i want to see the question number which is called 373 so let's use the question command so you can just go ahead and say exclamatory sign and question and you can say 372 and uh, there so i think there was 373 yeah we need to use 373 so i can just skip it there is no question by 372 so i would just go ahead and say that question number 373 okay so i am looking for this question so if you see this is the same question that was asked in ei and uh, 25 minutes we have because this is a hard category questions and we will be getting 120 points if we answer it correctly and we have remaining attempts which is called five attempts okay and the question says find the average transactions amount for customers with more than five transactions in september 2023 so to solve it we will go back to postgres sql which, where we, i have already created the tables if you have not created the table you can just copy this data set from here and you can go to any of this id like postgres sql mysql workbench wherever you want and then you can solve solve it there and you can come back into the board and you can submit your solution i would just go ahead and write transactions so you can see transaction table already exists for me so here i have the transactions id and each and everything if i go to this customers i have this all this information like customers id and customers name so first of all i need to do a join between this customers and the transactions table okay so i will first go ahead and select the transactions table and uh, then i am going to do a join between transactions and customers table because i would want to see all the customers and their in their average transactions where they have done more than five uh, you know kind of transactions we can achieve it without doing the join but if in case we want to kind of show the customer's name then we will need to do a join okay and uh, because using the join i will be getting the customer's name so i would just first use the transactions table to see what are the things i need okay so let's go ahead and select the things that i need to find the average transactions okay so it says task is to find the average transactions amount for each customers who made more than five transactions in september 2023 so here what i need is that the customer's id so i would just go ahead and say customer id customer of customer id okay so i would just go ahead and just select the customer's id which is from here and for each customer's id i am just looking for the average transactions so i would just go ahead and say average amount okay so this is going to be my the average transactions for each of these customers and i would just need to do a group by by 
which is called customer id okay so this is how i will be getting each customers and their average transactions okay now next what you need is that we need to filter the data to see that this data only for september 2023 right so if you see it here we are selecting the customer id and the average amount from the transactions table directly we're not using any filter but we need to select the data only for september 2023 so if you see the table we do have something called transactions date so using this a transactions date we can filter the data for september 2023 so that will come before the group by we can just go ahead and say where transactions date between end okay so this between and end we can just put some date trends here so we can go ahead and say so here we can say 2023 and we can say 09 and 01 and we can give the end date of september 2023 that's going to be 38 so 30 okay so that is going to give us the data only for september 2023 and now what you need is that we need only those customers where the customer has done more than five transactions okay i can just add a count functions here to show you like each customers and their transactions in that specific month okay so if you see here we only have one customer which is this one this customer has done more than five per transaction which is six transactions in that month and this is the average okay so here i can simply go ahead and use a having and i can just go ahead and say having this count must be greater than five okay so this is how we get the right answer but if you need the customer's id and their name then we will need to do a join now the join will come before this uh, where condition so here okay so here we're going to do a join to get the customer name so i can just call this transaction table as t and i can just go ahead and call the customer table as c and i would need to write the conditions between these two tables so if you see these two table have a common column which is called customer id in this table as well also in the customer table as well also we have customer id is the common column so we can go ahead and say that on t dot customer id equals c dot customer id okay once the join is done we would just need to select this customer id is coming from which table it's coming from t table and uh, we can say this average is coming from t table which is called transactions table this is coming from any table that's really fine okay and uh, here i would just need to give the alias it's coming from t table and uh, also here i would just give the alias call it's coming from t table okay and here i would say everything is remain same let's go ahead and run it i missed join here so i would just go ahead and say join okay you can say inner join as well or you can say join so let's go ahead and now run it now i can see we have the customer's id and their average transactions and the total transactions they have done right this is returning total transactions so what we only need is the customer name so we can get the customer name from the customer table you can see c dot customer name this is what we are looking for and uh, we do not need the transactions id right now we do not need the customer's id right now so i can just go ahead and say c dot customer name and i would just need to change in the group by as well so this is how it is going to kind of do the group by and i will still have the same thing all these customers who has done more than five transactions we have only one customers at the moment i would also don't need this count so i would just remove this okay so this is the result so we have the customer who has done more than five transactions in the month of september so this is what we are looking for let's go ahead and copy this solutions and paste in the board to see if our question is still active so it is under 25 minute i would just go ahead and say submit here to submit my solutions if my answer is incorrect i am going to get a some warning so you can see that my answer was correct and i got 140 points so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end have a good day take care bye bye see you